what is up everyone uh, this is a short motor vlog I just had to talk about the difference between having this bike in sport mode and race mode so I've owned this bike a 2017 Ducati Panigale 1299S about eight months now and uh, the funny part is I don't think I've ever ridden in race mode until yesterday uh, hence why I felt I had to do a short moto vlog on the difference between sport mode and race mode of course there's uh, rain mode also or wet mode let me see uh, the cycles here you got sport you got wet and you got race so the reason I say it's a big deal is because I got so used to riding in sport mode because you know you go through that new bike itis as I like to say where you don't really want to do anything stupid and you know in sport mode it's got like all the power and all the other systems such as trash control engine braking ABS um, wheelie control that's turned up and having a uh, 20 something thousand dollar motorcycle you don't want to drop it wreck it race it whatever you know I think one time I tested it in wet mode and it was raining. I mean, it was one of those rainy days where it's sunny but still raining. That was when I lived over in St. Pete on the west side. And I could definitely tell a power difference. Um, it was a lower power, I'd say maybe 70%, 75% max of the total engine output. So you're lowering it from, you know, stock, it's 1185 cc's this bike. And it's probably down to like, I don't know, 900, 850, something like that. But then you got everything else trash control ABS maxed out at like I think it goes up to eight I think the lowest setting one is the lowest of course and then um, eight is the highest for example look at the responsiveness Woo! so that in a nutshell everyone is what I'm talking about in this video in sport mode there's a little bit of hesitance uh, I don't know how to really explain it uh, because the wheelie control and the track control is turned up. I believe it's only set to like three or five or somewhere a mix combination of the two. But I never realized the difference. And as I was riding yesterday, I was like, oh, let me switch it over to race mode. I've had this bike long enough. I forgot there was even a race mode. As I'm riding yesterday, I'm sitting there, I put it in race mode, and I will say it's a pain in the butt to change it into a different mode. And this little toggle switch and pressing buttons it's not as easy as selecting and pressing a button guys you actually have to like select it let off the brakes and the throttle and it's easiest to do it at a stop that's what i've learned and that's another reason i just don't switch it all the time is because it's just a pain in the butt so i did switch it to race and my god the responsiveness of this bike changed night and day now uh, it's fun to ride we got the slingshot in front of us Motorcycle or car? You tell me. But the responsiveness is just out of this world now. It actually made riding this bike, I wouldn't say it wasn't fun, but it's hot, it's uncomfortable. I mean, it's beautiful and sexy. It's Panigale. But just, man, I can't even explain. Just BAM! That acceleration, this, it wasn't there when you have it in sport mode. And uh, it's just something I forgot, you know? and. I'm so happy. It's almost like it's a brand new bike. I've been riding this for almost an um, hour and a half now straight and I'm still giddy even though it's 85 degrees and uh, this bike is hot. What's up brother? But I love it. I absolutely do. I mean the responsiveness, it handles better as in like it's it's weird. It's like a, um, a, a give or take, a push or shove. Yes, I have less safety features and control on the bike but I feel more one with the bike, if that makes sense to you guys. All I know is that from now on, I will probably pretty much just ride this in race mode. Of course, I'll lose some ABS, but I can actually individually turn those up, by the way. Um, you have to read the manual. It's, I wouldn't say it's complicated, but it's just something, unless you practice it, you kind of forget how to do it. Um, mainly for those uh, track days and stuff, which I haven't taken this to a track. There's one track here in Florida, Jennings GP it's up north about three hours I might do it one day so I look forward to that I'll let you guys know if I do but I just wanted to make a short motor vlog on just how outstanding the freaking race mode is on this bike it makes the bike like new again I just I can't even believe it
So that's pretty much going to be it on this beautiful Sunday here in Tampa, Florida. And if you like this video, guys, please give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. I thank each and every one of you that are part of the Fireblade Pilot Army and our subscribers. And once again, just signing off from beautiful Tampa, Florida. Y'all took care, ride safe, and I'll catch you later.